Today marks 48 days since I planted my original seeds and I haven't given a full update on how all those plants are doing and I wanted to do that today. I also wanted to share a huge failure that I have, which is my tomatillo plant. And you wouldn't think that by looking at it. It's this plant here, the beautiful stem. It looks so healthy. It's starting to bloom here with other blooms getting ready to open. And I have screwed up royally because when I was reading about pollinating this plant, you need to pollinate with another tomatillo plant. It cannot pollinate with, it, with itself. So um, too late for me to plant another one and get some pollen. So this is gonna have to be removed. And I am so bummed about that because it looks so great and I think it would fruit very well. So lesson learned. Next time I try tomatillos, I will be planting at least two plants to cross pollinate with one another. I'm not super upset about it though, because my edamame, which is right next to it, is doing amazing. And it is really starting to grow tons of little pods here. Um, I am really happy with this growth. And because it's so large, I don't think it's a bad thing to remove that tomatillo next to it so it can get more light. And it's also next to my cantaloupe, which has fully come out of my system now. It is flowering a ton. I have not had any successful cell, you know, pollination myself because all the flowers, even the female flowers, have fallen off. Um, but it's still, we still have time. We still have lots of blooms that are growing now and will hopefully open soon. Um, more lettuces are growing in the basement. Um, this is my broccoli plant. You know, the stem looks great and it's growing nicely, but there's actually no broccoli in the center. Not sure what's up with that. If anyone has any tips, I would love to hear them. My basil keeps growing. I've harvested that a couple of times. Looks really good. My rosemary, remember, it's two weeks behind all of my other plants because I had to replant it. And it looks really healthy. It's just not as big as I thought it would be. My parsley looks awesome and is absolutely ready to harvest. So is my thyme. I think grilling some steaks is going to be amazing with this thyme. We will do that this week. My lunchbox peppers, they are starting to fruit here. I have little blooms there. I'm really disappointed with the size of this plant. I am actually wondering if maybe I should have planted the seed off the heat mat and maybe that's why it's so small. Just the, the stem at the base just is not very thick. Um, but you can see little flowers there getting ready to go. Um, I've read that for peppers, you really wanna shake them. That's how it pollinates, you just shake it. You'll get a lot more fruit that way. So I will do that with my bell peppers down here as well, which looks good. My romas look great as well. These romas are two weeks behind and these were germinated off of a heat mat. And look at how beautiful this is growing. Looks great, still no little um, flowers yet, but those will come. My cilantro was growing back. I've already harvested it once. I made some yummy salsa with that. Um, overall, we're looking good. My green bean, which I finally had success with, is growing right here. And it looks really happy in the system. So that's it for now. We're doing okay. 